Everyone knows that game development is no walk in the park, and the last two years haven't made it any easier. We started to see games get delayed last year, including some major AAA releases, but the real effect of this seems to be from games that were already planned for 2021, as teams had to use new work from home setups that delayed processes and ultimately slowed down development. With that said, here is our list of game delays in 2021. Drop a like if you enjoyed the list, and subscribe to GameSpot for more videos just like this. After a few stage presentations, official character breakdowns, and the tease of a beta, the team over at Criterion have officially delayed Battlefield 2042. An official statement that was published on their Twitter explains that the complications of making a game during a global pandemic have led them to officially push back the launch day to November 19th, 2021. The upside is that it was only pushed back a few weeks from its original October 22nd date, so we won't have to wait long. Following weeks of rumors that went unanswered, Sony officially confirmed that Horizon Forbidden West has been delayed during Gamescom's opening night live event. The game is now arriving on February 18th, 2022, but a patch that bumps up the original game to 60 frames per second was released the same day, ostensibly to make the game wait a little easier. It leaves the PS5 without a major exclusive AAA game release this holiday season though. Evil Dead the multiplayer horror game based on the famous horror comedy series was planned for either a late 2021 release or an early 2022 release. The latest expected date is February of 2022, with the development team saying they will be able to add a single player option with the extra time. Groovy. God of War Ragnarok was originally scheduled to release at some point this year. However, Santa Monica Studio has opted to delay the game into 2022 in order to ensure that it meets the series' high-quality standards. PlayStation's head of Worldwide Studios, Herman Hulse, said that the project started a little later than some others, which may have contributed to the delay. Less game and more guitar learning tool, Ubisoft's Rocksmith Plus will no longer be releasing in 2021. A final date hasn't been announced, but it's planned to launch sometime in 2022. The company said that its new plan will quote, give us time to deliver a smooth experience for all guitar and bass lovers. The latest game in the acclaimed strategy series, Total War Warhammer 3, has slipped into early 2022. Developer Creative Assembly said that this time will make for a stronger release and that while it's the last game in the trilogy, it will be supported for years with new content. The free-to-play MMORPG Lost Ark is getting a closed beta in 2021, but developer Smilegate and publisher Amazon Games opted to delay the game in order to bring back its launch quality up to the team's standards and implement new content from the Korean version. The game is now coming out in early 2022, though the closed beta arrives in November and anyone who bought the Founders Pack will get access. The next game from the Guacamelee Studio Drinkbox, Nobody Saves the World, was bumped to early 2022 as the developer works on implementing online cooperative play. It's the first game with such a feature the studio has made, with Guacamelee only supporting local co-op mode. At launch, the game will be on Xbox Game Pass and is coming to Xbox Series S, X, Xbox One, and PC. Originally scheduled for a late 2021 release, Abandoned from Blue Box Game Studios will now arrive at a later date. Very little is known about the project, and questions surrounding its unclear messaging and seemingly intentional teases to Hideo Kojima and Silent Hill have brought some controversy to the project. There is no evidence that Kojima is involved, and the developer has said this outright several times. Ready at Dawn has been a subsidiary of Oculus for some time now, and the studio works exclusively on VR games. One of these, Lone Echo 2, was going to be among the biggest games available on Oculus devices. And while it's still scheduled for 2021, a recent delay has pushed it to later in the year, after already being delayed from 2019, 2020, and 2021. In order to alleviate pressure on the development team, which is also finishing up Life is Strange True Colors, the decision was made to delay Life is Strange Remastered Collection. This bundle will now come out in 2022 and includes the upgraded versions of Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2. The Nintendo Switch version of True Colors will also be coming out later than expected. However, it's still slated for the end of 2021. Diablo Immortal was announced a few years ago as a mobile exclusive spin on the dungeon crawling RPG. However, that timeline has shifted to 2022 and Blizzard said it's using its time to add controller support 
and work out both PvE and PvP content. 8 player raids are now one of the biggest features added to the game. Everyone knows soup tastes better when it takes more time to simmer, and Chicken Club's Soup Pot will be doing just that. The game is now coming to Xbox platforms and PC later this year in order to give the developer more time for polishing. You'll be doing live streams of your cooking in the game to make over 100 dishes. The long-awaited sci-fi survival game Icarus, created by DayZ creator Dean Hall, was originally planned to launch in August of 2021. However, now it's coming out in November without a finalized specific date, but there will be multiple beta periods over the next few months before the game's launch. Quick shout out to Halo Infinite. While technically it shouldn't be on this list, in August of 2020, Infinite was delayed for December of 2021. Things finally appear to be on track, and 343 Industries has even held some technical tests for members of its Halo Insider program. Let's hope that December of 2021 is still looking like the rock solid date. Stray was supposed to arrive in 2021, bringing us the tale of an adorable cat just struggling to survive in a world taken over by robots. However, the development team has opted to delay the game until 2022 so as not to compromise on quality. First revealed with a gameplay trailer in 2020 and planned for a 2021 launch, the open world spin-off to Black Desert Online Crimson Desert is now arriving at an unspecified future date as Pearl Abyss works to add new ideas to make it a quote, deeper, more enriching game. No stranger to delays, Digimon Survive was originally announced three years ago and planned to launch in 2020 before those plans were thrown into disarray. At the earliest, it's now coming in Q3 of 2022, and based on the language of Toei Animation's latest financial report, it could very well be even later than that. Just a month after Rainbow Six Extraction was reintroduced to the public via the Ubisoft E3 presentation, the company opted to delay the game into January of 2022. The spin-off of the main series focuses on an alien threat, which is a big departure for the franchise. And with support planned for crossplay and cross-progression, the development team evidently needed extra time. Originally planned to launch in 2021, Warhammer Darktide has been pushed to spring of 2022 in order to give the development team more time for polishing and ensuring the game's longevity post-launch. What exactly that means remains to be seen, but it'll release on Xbox Series X and S and PC. A game first scheduled to come out with Resident Evil Village that was later delayed already to July, Resident Evil Reverse will bring its take on multiplayer to players in 2022. A third-person shooter with characters from across the series' history, it also makes use of some environments from the classic games in the series as well. Tango Gameworks' Ghostwire Tokyo looks to be quite a big departure from its Evil Within series, but we haven't actually seen much of the game, and that didn't bode well for making it a 2021 release. It's now coming out in early 2022 in order to better meet the studio's vision. The King of Fighters 15 suffered a delay from a vague window to a slightly less vague window, moving from some point in 2021 to Q1 of 2022. SNK made the announcement just before E3 this year, saying the increasing cases of COVID-19 in Japan have affected development. It'll be the first new game in the series since 2016, with famous returning characters from Fatal Fury, Ikari Warriors, and The Art of Fighting also appearing. It's easy to forget that the Ubisoft open-world pirate game Skull and Bones is still even in development, but it is, and the company reminded investors during the earnings call of May 2020. The game has been delayed entirely out of the current fiscal year, meaning it won't arrive until April 2022 at the very earliest. The game was first announced back in 2017 and has undergone development shakeups, including getting a new creative director. Studio managing director Hughes Rykor also left his position in late 2020 over harassment and bullying allegations. The highly anticipated Five Nights at Freddy's security breach looks like it will be a major setup for the indie horror series, but the developers need more time to fully realize their vision. As such, the game has been delayed until late 2021. But series creator Scott Cawthon also released a free game called Security Breach Fury's Rage as a consolation gift. It's heavily inspired by the Streets of Rage series. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been delayed to an unclear future date. 
Traveler's Tales did not give an exact reason for the delay other than wanting to give the team more time to deliver, quote, the biggest and best ever LEGO game, and said it would provide new launch information as soon as it can. Sony confirmed back in February that Gran Turismo had been delayed into 2022. The decision came as critical parts of the development process were affected by the pandemic and because of the changing nature of the global situation, a firm date wasn't set. As we get closer to the next year, that'll likely change. Originally scheduled to release back in February, Ubisoft delayed its extreme sports game Riders Republic to September, but it was delayed again until October 28th of 2021. We won't be able to get our hands this on the Lord of the Rings Gollum until 2022. The game's planned 2021 launch got pushed earlier in the year with companies Daedalic Entertainment and Nacon partnering on the project moving forward. It's planned to release on several different systems, including the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Originally planned for a launch this March, the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake was delayed to an unclear future date back in February. Ubisoft citing wanting to make a remake that still feels fresh while staying true to the spirit of the original version, but they didn't specify how long the delay would be or if it's still even planned for 2021. The series has largely been on ice since Assassin's Creed exploded in popularity over a decade ago. Hogwarts Legacy, a game set in the 19th century of Harry Potter's world, was scheduled to release later this year, but has been delayed to 2022. The delay came amid controversy surrounding author J.K. Rowling, who was not directly involved with the project. Gotham Knights, a spin-off of the Batman series, a non-canonical one, was scheduled to arrive before the end of 2021, before being bumped into next year. Warner Brothers gave a very vague statement about wanting to, quote, provide the best possible experience for players, unquote, but did not specify the reason behind the delay. The co-op action game is directed by Patrick Redding, who previously worked on the Splinter Cell series and Far Cry. It's only one DC game Warner Brothers has cooking, with a Suicide Squad game also coming in 2022. However, we wouldn't be shocked if that got bumped as well. A game awash in controversy and production issues, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 got delayed late last year to a 2021 date. Since then, publisher Paradox chose to delay the game again, this time out of 2021 completely. Furthermore, a new developer is working on the project, replacing Hardsuit Labs, which was subsequently hit with layoffs. It's also one of the few troubled projects that previously involved writer Chris Avalone, who was later accused of sexual misconduct, though none of his contributions are being used. Dying Light 2 has been delayed a few different times, and was originally scheduled to release about a year ago. A delay announcement back in January was indefinite, though it was still confirmed for 2021, and the game was later confirmed to launch in December specifically. This delay came after Techland was accused of a toxic work environment and poor leadership. Writer Chris Avalone also worked on Dying Light 2 and left the project amid sexual misconduct allegations. And that delay wasn't the last, with the game later being moved to February of 2022. Spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead, Back for Blood, was delayed from June 22nd till October 12th. The studio didn't give any concrete information about the reason behind the delay, aside from wanting to improve the game. Since then, we've had the alpha and the beta, and everything appears to be on track for the October 12th release. Capcom's Pragmata was shown off in 2020 as a showcase for the PS5, but the game already received a delay. This isn't coming out until 2023, meaning it's probably going to be a long time before we hear more about the game at all. All we do know is that it's scheduled to launch on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series S and X. Amazon's MMO New World has been delayed more times than we can count. Seemingly one of the only games Amazon hasn't canceled outright, New World has moved from a vague Spring 2021 window to August 31st of 2021. That seemed like it was going to hold after a successful beta, but now the game is supposed to release September 28th. Planned to launch in November, the expansion Destiny 2 The Witch Queen has been delayed into 2022. The scope and complexity of the expansion and its narrative ties to other content was one of the reasons for the delay, and the studio also wanted to avoid putting extra pressure on the development team during the pandemic. However, content for the game, including the Vault of Glass raid, will continue throughout 2021. Let us know in the comments which games you were bummed to see get delayed over and over, and let us know if we missed anything. 
Drop a like if you enjoyed the list and subscribe to GameSpot for more videos just like this.